At this point, it's about 1982, this is nine years into the program, and I'm now in charge of the program in the Defense Department. And we decide it is now time for everyone who was using the older protocols of the ARPANET to switch over to use the internet protocols so we can now start proliferating networks and bringing in different kinds of packet nets. So we announced at the beginning of 1982 that we are going to require everyone who is on all the research networks to start using TCP IP only. And uh, there are people grumbling about this because their email works on the old protocols and the file transfers work and the remote access works. So in the middle of 1982, in order to um, remind them that we have to make our deadline of January 1, 1983, I actually shut off on the ARPANET the ability to carry anything except TCP IP. And of course I got lots of phone calls and complaints and angry email and I sent back a note saying I just wanted you to know that I can shut off the old protocols just, just in case. So we see this you know, rapid growth of TCP IP then it levels off in the fall so I shut off the old protocols for two days. More grumbling and screaming and yelling but people got the point. So by January 1, 1983, almost every computer on the ARPANET switched over to the new TCP IP protocols, with the exception of one or two. Uh, now, there were only 400 computers on the internet at the time, and so this is very tiny compared to where we are today with 800 million machines that are publicly visible and probably double that that you can't see because they're only episodically connected. Uh, so that was really the birthday of the internet, January 1, 1983.